be starting a video tutorial series on the very popular Arduino prototyping platform. In each episode, I'll build something new and um, you can follow me through as I'll teach you um, the code and the hardware aspect of it. Um, so basically we'll cover everything from Bluetooth related to LCD screen to audio to physical movement. Um, don't worry, we'll cover that all. I'll try to release a new video at least um, once every two weeks, so I probably expect it to be a Monday. And um, if you're asking what is the Arduino, well the Arduino is a super easy way to start um, building and prototyping your um, basically hardware and software idea. So whether you're a beginner or advanced, I'd really recommend the Arduino for you. Now there are a couple different Arduino models. Um, there is this simple Arduino Uno, which I would say is the most widely used Arduino in the world. But there are also other Arduinos like um, here we have the Mega and there is also the Pro, the Pro Mini. And the newest member to the Arduino family is the Arduino Explorer. So in almost all of my episodes, I'll be using the Arduino Uno. In episode one today, um, we'll be looking at basically starting out with the basics. So installing your Arduino programming software. We'll download that from the computer and also uploading your first sketch to the board. Okay, so let's take a look at the hardware we will be using for this episode. You'll need an Ar Arduino Uno or any other Arduino you have. So you can use a Mega or the Uno, it does not matter. Also, you'll need an LED, but if you don't have an LED, that's fine because there's a LED pre-installed on pin 13. So um, simply just take your LED. The long lead is positive and the short lead is negative. So take the long lead of your LED and put that into pin 13 and then put your short lead into ground. So you can see that um, um, there are digital pins and there are analog pins and these digital pins are um, basically feed out ones or zeros. And the analog pins, I believe they go from anywhere from zero to 1000 and 24. Yeah, so that's um, the byte range on the analog pins. And then you also have some power and ground rails also. Um, you will also need a USB type B cable for programming. So just plug that into your Arduino and you should see it flash like that. Okay, so um, yeah, that's um, it for the hardware on the Arduino. So um, let's go on to downloading uh, the code, setting up your system, and also uploading your first sketch to the Arduino board. Okay, so to download the Arduino software, we need to open up the web browser and then go to www.arduino.cc. And the reason it's CC is because Arduino is based in Italy. So just click the download um, tab here on the nav bar. And then you'll be presented with many download options. So you have Windows, Mac, or Linux. Since I'm running Windows, I'll just click the Windows. So I've already downloaded this, so I'm just gonna cancel this and then navigate to the place where it is downloaded. In my case, my downloads folder. So just double click on the folder once again, and you'll be presented um, with quite a lot of files here. So the only thing you need to worry about is your Arduino application here. So I'm just going to launch it from my desktop, Arduino. So if you've ever programmed in anything like C++, you should be very familiar with the um, programming language. Or if you've ever used the program processing, you should also be very familiar. So let me just um, open this up and tour you, tour you around the program. So here in files, um, you can create a new program. And right away, we're just going to save our program as, how about this, episode one, blink. And then save. Okay, and also in your file tab here, um, there's something called examples. So Arduino is preloaded with all these example codes. So the thing we'll be using today is a blink sketch. So you can just access it by um, clicking, clicking the blink here. Um, so you can see it's nicely presented here, so you don't even have to write your own code. But today, um, I'm going to guide you through the code and we're going to write our own. Um, there's nothing really else you'll be using in here. Um, yeah, but something very important is if you go into um, tools here, 
you need to select your Arduino board and also the serial port your Arduino is on. So let's go to board. Uh, since we're using the Arduino Uno, we're going to select that. Also, we're going to go to tools and select the serial port. Now, this is very important that you select the right serial port or else um, your software will not be able to communicate over the serial link. So I'm using COM5. I'm just going to select that. And something else we'll be using, um, I'd say in almost every episode from episode two on, will be the serial monitor. You can access it by doing clicking, going to tools, serial monitor, or by clicking control shift M. Okay, so um, that's enough of that. And let's get on to the code. Okay, so to start out, we need to um, basically say that the LED is connected to pin 13 and that we're going to call pin 13 the LED. So all we do is we go int um, LED equals 13 and we always terminate each line of code with this semicolon. Now it's really easy to comment your code and commenting your code will basically let you write text in your code without having the text interfere with your program. So just do two backslashes and be like, okay, LED connected to pin 13. Um, just that easy. Also, there are two main functions in the Arduino program that we will be using. Um, one is called void setup, and this will run at the beginning of each program. And then um, we just open and close each function with this curly bracket. Now in the void setup, what we need to do is declare that pin 13 is an output. So we're going to go pin mode. So pin mode is a thing we use to declare a pin state, input or output. Then we go LED output. And then once again, we're going to terminate our line of code with our semicolon. So as you know, our first function was a void setup that will run only once at the beginning of each program. And the void loop will just keep on repeating. So it's going to go void loop. Just like that, um, we use our curly brackets to uh, begin and terminate our functions. Now we're going to, um, we want to turn the LED on. So we're going to use something called digital write because we are writing to a digital pin on the Arduino. So we're going to go LED and then high then terminate it with a semicolon and right here we can just put like turning on LED yes and then what we need to do is keep the LED turned on for some time so we're going to delay it for um, 1000 seconds 1000 milliseconds sorry or 1000 um, or one second 1000 milliseconds or one second okay that was really weird and then um, after it's been delayed for, <coughs> sorry, after it's been delayed for one second, we need to turn off the LED. So digital, yes, I am sick. So if I sound out of breath, that is why. So we now need to turn the LED off. So we're going to go um, digital right LED low, and then we're going to delay once again for one second. Okay, so that's um, basically our program. Let's go from the top. So we declared um, that the LED is on pin 13. We declare the state of the pin, input or output. We turn the LED on. We waited a second. We turn the LED off. Then we wait a second. So that's basically the simplest program um, you can write an Arduino. And yeah, so the code is finished. And to verify your code, just click the verify button here and it will um, say verifying on the bottom and done complying so we have no errors that's good and then just click the upload button on your board and if your arduino is plugged in everything should go good and you should see some lights flashing on your arduino so let's take a look at that okay so we can see that it's working the led is turning on for one second it's turning off for one second then once again it's turning on so congratulations, you just wrote your first Arduino program. Okay, thanks for watching today's episode and I hope you learned something. And don't forget to tune in next week as we delve deeper 
and into the more exciting stuff. And don't forget that you can find me on Twitter and Facebook at Romane Kosak. And please visit my newest blog. It's called Tech Climax, techclimax.com. And basically um, on that blog, we review the latest tech and we can show you how to do cool things like launch your own camera to space, make lithium metal and thermite. And if you enjoyed this video, um, please um, click the like button below and don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe.